to another weekend vlog. I'm currently filming another video that you guys have already seen, which is the Fly Lady routine video. Currently filming that, but I wanted to hop on here on a Friday and say hello. We're not doing our pantry challenge tonight. We're doing something that was on our meal plan. We're doing Big Mac, kind of like a, I'm gonna put it here because I have listening ears and I know they will not touch it if I say it out loud. Kind of like this, but also a homemade Big Mac. <laughs> I wanted to pop in here and say hi. I'll also probably pop in here though after filming. That's popcorn. But I'll also pop in here for a little bit after I film today's video. Popcorn's done. Bye. 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 It's the weekend. As R. Kelly said, it's the weekend, baby. I'm about to have my some fun. I haven't started the Big Macs yet because Shane's going to bring me a missing ingredient I forgot to get on his way home, so we can get it going soon. I just got done filming a daily routine with Fly Lady. That's what I've been doing lately. Not everything to a T. I'm not going to sit here and say, or stand here because I'm not sitting. I'm not going to stand here and say that I do everything perfectly every single day. I don't do everything perfectly every single day, but I, every single day I'm working at it. I'm trying. Um, I'm knocking some of them things off that list. So the video that y'all watched Saturday, if you watched it, that's what my day looks like pretty much every single day. Mix in a little bit of the home blessing task and a little bit of the zone cleaning. That's my day to a T. I'm about to lay down, but I'm going to read a little bit before I do. I'm reading the second book of the Zodiac Academy series. Hold on. I'm reading the second book of the Zodiac Academy series. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's kind of weird. The first book turned me off really bad, but one of my really close friends says that I will love it. Based off the first one, I mean, it's it's my cup of tea. It's like Twilight for adults, I guess you could say. Um, there are scenes that I had to skip, which she warned me of that anyway. She, she warned me that there would be scenes that I would have to skip. But I just don't know. Like, I don't like the main characters. Like, I like the girl main characters, but the guys are buttheads. I want to try to read some of that. I'm not even reading my hard copy, actually. I'm reading it on ebook. I've been reading more ebook than anything lately, which helps me out because that means I'm not buying a bunch of books and overflowing my bookshelves you know what i'm saying i'm going to end the day reading it is 9:45. i've been trying to go to bed earlier but i'm a night owl y'all like i'm 12 a.m i'm wide awake and then 6 a.m i'm wide awake so i need to work on that so i've been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier than normal so i'm going to try to read for about an hour and then try to tap out for the evening tomorrow starts our pantry challenge so shane and i are going to be I don't even know what we got in the freezer, if I'm being honest with you. I'll fill you in tomorrow on what we have. I think we have chicken breasts. Or they might be chicken thighs. I don't know. But we're just going to... It's definitely a Wing It Weekend. <laughs> That's the name of the series. Wing It Weekend. Oh my gosh, I am a genius. <laughs> Okay, that's the name of the series, our weekend painter challenge series, Wing It Weekend. So it's definitely going to be a Wing It Weekend in here this week. Hey baby, you scared me. This weekend, which they're fun though. Shane makes it so much fun. I've got a lot of editing to do in the morning. So that'll be what a majority of the first half of my day looks like. And then the second half of my day will be chasing my tail and catching up with myself. Because <laughs> uh, my editing days always put me behind. I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, so, uh, spoiler alert, I didn't get my video up tonight, which if it's a Saturday and you're looking for me, I didn't get it up because I ran into a lot of technical difficulties. It took up a majority of my day, and I wasn't about to continue to work on it, only for it to go up late, and then me not be able to spend my Saturday, what's left of my Saturday with my kiddos. So, I'm just going to continue to edit it throughout this weekend, and get it up for you on Monday. Before we start our dinner, I'm going to make a quick cake. I felt this in the back of my pantry. It's a spice cake. I know that these cakes, the best choice cakes, they don't always taste the best. It's kind of like, you know, you go to the flea market and buy a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> it's not going to be Louis Vuitton. <laughs> you go to the price list and you buy a spice cake. It's really not going to be a spice cake. It's going to be spicy, it's going to be a cake, and it's going to be something, but it ain't going to be a spice cake. I got all my ingredients in here, though, and I'm going to mix that up in my stand mixer. And then I'm going to make a homemade cream cheese icing to go on top of it. And then I'll have the icing chilling and the cake cooling while we start on dinner. While I'm doing this cake though, I'm going to be listening to an audiobook because um, I just threw that away and I know I'm going to be wondering how long to cook it later. Man, I always had stories about the city line. And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out See what it's all about But the truth
traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant, paycheck, bread race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I find the gold back where I came. I guess the slow life hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Then you can keep your nine to five Have to win the simple life So if I was popping this, it would have to be a lot thicker. This is actually I... quite runny. But let me tell you, the lemon juice and the cream cheese frosting makes that twang really pop out. That's some of the best cream cheese icing I have ever tried. And I have tried a lot of different recipes and messed a lot of them up. And didn't mess a lot of them up too. This one is the best one. That lemon, wow what a difference that made. It doesn't taste like lemon at all. It just makes that cream cheese, it just brings out the twang and the cream cheese. I'm going to add probably one more cup of confectioner sugar to thicken it up just a little bit. Like I said, I don't need it thick enough to pop or anything. Um, I'm just what making a that? standard. If you would buttercream, like pop it. Onto the like, cupcakes or I something? I about like a tobacco pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to thicken it up a little bit so it doesn't look like a glaze, you know what I'm saying? Hey everybody, this is Shane here and in today's episode of Drivers, Diners, and Dials... <laughs> I'm supposed to be in the car, you get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're headed to Fearfully Created's Kitchen for another fun Wing It Weekend. And then this is where you have the title. Wicka, 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 wicka. You're and so it. supportive. <laughs> <laughs> what we got to work with today? A freezer. This is uh, Rena Fury. <laughs> Rena. It's Shane Ramsey. <laughs> Rena. I'm Rita Fury, and this is Shane Ramsey. Welcome to our pretend cooking show. What kind of sandwich are you? An idiot sandwich. This is mean. <laughs> Donut. <laughs> we got some chicken thighs that we thawed out. Get your foot. You got your shoes on in the house. <gasps> Exposed. You got this your... just in. Awesomely created. Awesomely created. Caught in his house with shoes. shoes on. Go get your shoes off. Let's do this. We got some chicken thighs that we thawed out earlier today. Can I show my thighs again? And other than that, you still got your dirty butt sock on the counter. It's not dirty. It is. It's been on your foot all day long. You were out playing basketball with the neighborhood kids and sweating up a storm and your foot ain't dirty. He fell on his tail outside, by the way, while he was playing basketball with the neighborhood children. They wanted to play. You got your tail tore up too, didn't you? No. They, I, I did learn something. They though. schooled him. They schooled him. What? My butt and everything's fine. But I did learn that I'm an old man. <laughs> and I don't have the stamina. <laughs> he flattened on the pavement. He said, I fouled myself. <laughs> yeah, how do you foul yourself? My defense was great. My offense. I don't know what any of that means. I was just cackling. Like everybody else. My, my blocking skills. I was doing good. It was, I. I couldn't shoot them. You gained an audience though. I mean. Yeah. I don't think anybody wants to gain that kind of audience. They were coming out to see how one fouls themselves. <laughs> so what are we going to make tonight? Um, chicken. What kind of, what chicken what? Chicken cordon bleu. Do you know what that is? Because you won't touch that. Nope. Chicken thighs are pretty much like chicken breast. Just a different part of the body, right? Baby, let me tell you what there is. I don't know if I can leave that in or not. I'm going through the motion to me. Is that is that appropriate or not? I mean, there is. I mean, no, no, no. Okay, that wasn't appropriate. She's gonna cut it out. Marina, cut it out. Oh, don't cut it I out. I know where she's gonna cut it out. They're basically chicken breasts, so we're just going to what dice those up and throw them in a pan. And then we make what's called chicken galloping glaze. All right, let's do that then. Okay. Guys, we're gonna skip. Fury, this is why you're on the Food Network. You didn't make it to Fox. Some olive oil in a pan. You feeling that olive oil? Uh 
Okay. Uh, Colton would say that's not good for us. Well, well, olive oil is different. This is anointing oil. We <laughs> anointing the chicken tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome to Heaven's Kitchen. I did have a whole sermon on here with this in my hand. Did so you really? It is anointed, yes. This okay. time? No, last time. And the anointing never leaves. Well, what about when it's empty? <laughs> That's a sermon right there. Your anointing can't be diluted down. That's a good sermon. I'm listening that to Nanny. Right. So why don't you and your bleach spiky hair and your goatee go uh, stand over there? Now that, that's weird and you know it. Guy Fury. I'm, I'm describing Guy Fury. You're also describing me. You don't have a goatee. I do too. No, you don't. We're I shaved too. my sideburns, remember? You do. <laughs> we have the chicken. Yeah, um, how are we going to do this? Oh, 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 don't touch it after you touch the chicken. Go one. Two, three, four. I really don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna do it. You don't leave all that chicken fat on there. Yeah. No, we don't leave chicken fat on chicken. Why? Because it's nasty. It's good. I won't touch fat it. Fat is good. I will not touch it. What are you doing? I'm taking the fat off. No, you gotta cut it off. Oh, I don't wanna do that. Um. You have mutilated that chicken. Oh, one of them told me. If you what? put a towel, a wet towel, yeah. underneath the cutting board, that it won't slide. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Right. Oh, they're geniuses. They're so smart. Oh, snap! Who got, who said that? I'm going to shout them out uh, right now. I have a few of them. Jen, I don't think you're cubing that. I think you're grounding it. It looks like ground beef. <laughs> you going to leave all that fat on there? Yes. See, this is the secret to Heaven's Kitchen. You like somebody else in the wrong way. See how nicely cubed mine are? That is not cute. Yeah, I don't Shane's. know if you've never seen a cube before, but that's not a cube. Look, look at the difference. This is Shane's. This is mine. That's a quap. This is mine. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be a nightmare. So this goes in here, right? Yeah, but wait. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Right. Oh. So now we're gonna Ooh. now we're gonna check on the pants. Oh! Hey, damn! What are you doing? I didn't turn that on. Yes, you did. Come on. <laughs> We don't have knobs in France. <gasps> Why does it smell like butt? Lemon pepper. Ground ginger. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Does ginger go in chicken? Yes. I don't, I've never heard of that. That's too much ginger. It's not even coming out. And let's do some onion powder. Oh, that's a lot. There's a lot of chicken. Oh, baby. Sir, you eat my food every day. You eat it every day, and you know what y'all say? It's a fall out of It's a ten out We're gonna go with some garlic salt. Right. On chicken? No, we needed spices. Spices. Cayenne. Oh. Beat your mama. I'm on a, I'm on a streak. Shane really wants slap your mama, but Shane, do you want slap your mama, or do you want Creole? What's the difference? They're basically the same thing, I oh. think. Uh, they're just washing your socks. I told you they're great. This is great on everything. And this is Cajun seasoning. We did slap it on last time. You want to do... Let's do Cajun. Cajun. Oh, really? This one? You said that was Cajun. No, this is good on everything. It's spicy. Oh, let's go with Creole then. Okay. Creole -y. Or do you want to go with Old Bay? Let's go with... Oh, you my bay. Um, but... That, oh, it is for chicken. Yeah, people use it for everything. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that wasn't a good smell. This one. That one? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to put some Creole on here. Now, that's looking like chicken. There's quite a bit of chicken in here. Too much. Okay, now give me a, about a tablespoon of butter, maybe? A tablespoon? Yeah, a butter. Okay. Well, you can't put that back in there because you just touched that spoon with that chicken. Hold on. Cream of chicken. No. Okay, are we on the same brainwave? No. Okay, <laughs> what are you thinking this is going to look like? Because I feel like there's some miscommunication here. Ah, uh, peppers. Okay. Great collab. <laughs> Hey, what about some, uh, <laughs> what about, uh, some kosher salt? 
No, that's that's very coarse. That's coarse coke. It's just coarse. Yeah. It's, okay, let, you want to do some of this? What's that? Yeah, minced okay. garlic. Okay, yeah. You be the judge. Shane, that's a lot of garlic. Surely goodness and, and mercy, mercy will follow you. Soy sauce? Oh, no. Yeah. Soy sauce is... We're doing it on rice. It's nasty, though. Nobody likes soy sauce. I do. That's too much. Let me have it. Ow! Honey, I'm, Honey, I'm not putting it on your rice. It has to be cooked in the chicken. <laughs> it has to be cooked in the chicken. Sweet sauce makes me irk. Y'all like our tripod right there? My little green containers? There's nothing in them. I literally got them to be a tripod. You keep stealing your tripod. Yeah, I can't we keep stealing my tripod, so I'm left with using these empty containers that I got that I absolutely love. Hey, where's the bowl in the bag? It's up there. Man, that's smelling banging. Now, what are the directions? You pull it in a bag. You pour about <laughs> one, it bag. one quart of water into a medium saucepan. That'll work, because we're doing two bags. And submerge one bag of great value oil in the bag, white rice. So this is smelling fantastic. Looks good. <laughs> it's that whipped cream cheese that you got. It's your fault. Oh, that's really good. Is it good? That's really good. What is that? Spice cake with cream cheese often. I like that a lot. Look how good this looks. You gotta get some chicken, get some broccoli, and get some rice. What did you think of it? Okay. Out of a 10, I get a four. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go that low, hold on. That's real good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. No. <laughs> I like it. Really? <laughs> Happy Sunday. It is four in the afternoon. I'm going to get started on a pantry challenge dinner. Ooh, I just stuck my hands on the sticky. I have been everywhere today. I actually took a nap today and I never nap. I needed a nap today. Not because I'm sick or anything, just because um, I was I was tired. <laughs> Shane held the fort down while I was napping. So now he and I are going to work on what we're eating tonight. And I have no idea what we're going to eat. I have some chicken to use up. They're not chicken thighs, thank goodness. I'm, I'm not I'm not liking chicken thighs. I don't know something about it. Just I don't know. I mean, they taste like chicken, I guess you could say. But I don't know. Maybe it's the texture. They're really soft. And it just, I don't know. I like to cook my chicken till it is... I like to cook my, I like to cook my, oh my gosh, Tater! I like to cook my chicken until it is dry because then I know it's cooked. I know everybody's different, but I like dry chicken because I know it's cooked and 
it just gives me some comfort when it's really really dry i don't really know what we're gonna make with it i have a few odds and ends stuff in the freezer i could go several different routes last night's dinner was okay shane loved it shane had two helpings there was nothing left last night after after dinner last night even the kids ate it but for some reason i did not like like it i mean i ate it of course i'm not gonna waste it but it was like a four out of ten for me i was glad to at least get some broccoli and stuff in there and have a more healthy meal because with pantry challenges you usually only have staples left over to work with the pantry challenge and staples are starchy things like potatoes and butter and cheese and stuff like that you know like that's usually what's left over in my fridge so that's usually what i had to work with but i was able to find some broccoli and while the rice was starchy we had the broccoli and the chicken with some seasoning on it to like you know some protein some vegetable and a starch versus a casserole full of starch <laughs> i have a feeling tonight's might be a casserole full of starch i don't know i'm gonna see what i got to work shane's shane's happy about that i'm not <laughs> but i'm gonna see what i have to work with and see what we can get out of it we've been doing some really cool things with the pantry challenges so I'm excited to see what we pull off tonight. Things we know we'll be using chicken tenders and frozen hash browns. I got this. Oh my god, there it is. Get a little olive oil. Ah, don't touch the olive oil. We have this much olive oil to last us. Only fearfully created can touch the olive, the olive oil. That's too much. That's not. You would have just done that. I know you. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to Here. pop. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm pouring cheese in the bowl. What is that? Hash oh, hash browns. Okay. I don't know where else to put it, though. Oats. So, as you can see here, we're putting our. Why I call it last night? Chicong? Or, or what did I say the last time? Chicong? Chicong. Alright. We're going to put our chicong. In here now, Raina. When when I start cooking this, I need you to mind your own business. Okay. <laughs> I don't need you running in saying, "No, you can't put that in there." Well, you gotta be careful what you put in there because it is going in a casserole. In a casserole, I know. You're supposed to take salt. the tendon out of the tenders. Then you didn't even do that. Okay. Then, like, what's Old Bay again? Old Bay, it's like Cajun, like Louisiana style. Okay. You need to probably put some minced garlic uh, in there. Minced that. garlic, you're right. I thought you were needing it to flip the chicken. Hmm? That's a lot. Do you know what happens to garlic if you burn it? It becomes um, poisonous. No, it gets black and it turns bitter. What? I cooked that chicken to perfection last time. You know what I'm saying? You need to use the tongs to turn them. Okay, I'm going to tong it now. Daddy, look! Oh, snap! <laughs> What's up, PlayStation? While Shane's finishing up the chicken tenders, I'm going to get to work on this. I don't know what we're doing yet, but I'm thinking a crack situation. So, Wait, what? I've got, not like butt crack, but like I've got all the things I need for like crack, the crack situation. But my ranch is spicy. I've never tried this in, the crack, in a crack situation. So, mm, we're just going to use what we have. And I don't have butter, I have vegetable spread. So, we're just going to use what we have. And I don't have... Um, cream cheese. I have cream cheese spread. So we're just gonna see what happens. I do have this and this, which and this oh, is what I need. Chicago. So <laughs> we're just gonna work with what we got. I'm gonna take an eight ounce. I'm just gonna take this whole eight ounce container. Ew! That's nasty. Is that <laughs> out of date? Let me check. No. Okay. I'm just going to take this entire thing, sour cream water and all, and just plop it. A dollop of daisy, yeah, everything gets better. This is going to be kind of like a cracked chicken situation, 
but obviously I've just got to use what I have. So I'm going to use this entire container of cream cheese spread in here. And I'm going to pop in this spicy ranch packet. Ew! Huh. Amazing, ain't it? Technology. <laughs> I'm going to put this entire spicy ranch seasoning in here. Two cups of shredded cheddar in here, so three-fourths of this bag, probably. I'm doing it by hand. Mm -hmm. The rest of this will be for the top of it. What do you think about onions? What do I think about onions? Onions in this, yes or no? I think it might be the kid. Do we want onions in this? But you will have a little boy who will flip out if you let him know that there are onions in it. So, secret ingredient. Do I have onion? I have half an onion. I have half an onion, so I'll use half of half an Do onion. Do I put this in there? Yes. Melted butter. I don't know how much that is. About a couple of tablespoons of melted butter. So we're using half of half of a large. A half of a half of a cup. And then we're gonna wrap up the weed eater. I got three jokes for you. And we're gonna pepper it a little bit. Ring. And we're gonna stir it a little bit. <laughs> Ring. Get it really now good going, down in there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> or last time I mean. Dump it in here. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda makes me think of like, chicken salad or something. All right, we're gonna smush it. <clears throat> I'm going to put the remaining bit of cheese on top. We're gonna cook this no. No. for, until the the frozen hash browns are cooked, I'm thinking like 35 to 45 minutes, just check on it. We're just gonna check on it. You guys literally just missed um, Iceberg Ahead Marina. <laughs> Make a gigantic mess. Oh man. Oh baby That's girl. Gonna be a pain in the butt. Oh she looked good. A little crispy on the edges. I cooked it for 45 minutes. Because I wanted to be sure that the hash browns weren't still hard. But she looks pretty good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I am excited. Definitely a comfort meal, but it looks good. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda of banging. You can't say they're all banging. I haven't tried it yet. You'll like it. Will I? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love it. 9.5. 9.5? Really? 9.5. That was a hit. Everybody loved it. Shane gave it a 9.5. I give it a 7.5. What? I like it and it's it's good, but what? like uh, okay, eight. I give it an eight. I give it an eight. What? I give it an eight. Yeah. That don't make sense. It needed more hash browns. No. So if you do that recipe, double the hash brown amount because it was a little bit goopy. You know what I mean? No. Like once it sets, it's not goopy. That's the consistency of it once it sets. So I give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. Shane gave it a 9.5. The kiddos really loved it. Colton loved it so much. Y'all, those are good. Huh? Try. A 
Look at that. That's good. banging. That's good, ain't it? The rough sugar laundry. Is not Will you fix me a plate? Do I want one? Yeah, I want some of that. Now this is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's like kind of like a pantry challenge dessert. Cause I choose what I had. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I am so glad I saved my weekend points for this instead of wasting them last night. Right, I saved my weekend points for it. <laughs> I believe you guys will be seeing this on Thursday. So I hope you're having an awesome Thursday. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, even not. Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.